Hello everybody, welcome to Smart Coding. Today we are going to talk about smart pointers. So let's first see uh, what is the smartness that they have. Basically smart pointers manage uh, resources, any resource like file, another class or it could be memory uh, very smartly. And so that's why they are called as smart pointers and with smartness uh, we mean you just have to create the smart pointer to hold the resource and the life cycle of the resource is managed by the uh, smart pointer let's see uh, this with an example so if there is a, a normal pointer uh, like this uh, let's say there is a class called as cls and uh, it has a public function called as display then in your main if you want to deal or create the object of that class uh, you have to make use of it you have to create object using uh, you have to make use of the object and then delete it uh, when you are done with the object or pointer but with the smart pointer you don't have to do that so what a smart pointer will have is uh, it itself uh, will contain the pointer to that uh, class uh, in constructor it, it will create the pointer in the destructor it will delete uh, then it will be providing a definition for uh, dereference operator as well as access operator and then in main uh, when you want to make use of the object you just have to make use of smart pointer create the object of smart pointer and it will uh, and make use of it so you don't have to bother about uh, deleting so that whenever uh, this smart pointer goes out of scope the related memory will be released so that's why it is called a smart pointer and uh, the life cycle of the resource can be managed by this smart pointer to make it very here you can see that the limitation is uh, it's particular to this class CLS but if you want to make it generic you can make use of the templates so uh, you have to uh, specify the template class T outside your smart pointer and then make use of T everywhere in your class so uh, when you're done with it in the destructor you will be deleting the uh, object and rest all things will be same like overloading the dereference operator and overloading the access operator now uh, in your uh, main again you have to create the object uh, for which you want to uh, use the smart pointer let's say there is a class called as car and you want to create the smart pointer for this class then you have to uh, create the smart pointer uh, like this and just make use of it and uh, the life cycle of the uh, car uh, object will be uh, managed by the SPCLS <laughs> now let's see what are the five key things that we should remember for the smart pointers basically you will be do doing the memory allocation in constructor and uh, releasing the memory in destructor this is as uh, s this is very similar to the any C++ class um, then you have to overload the dereference operator and access operator to give the to make it act like a pointer you have to make use of templates if you want to make it very generic and then it's better to use reference counting if you want to provide the uh, sharing amongst many resources uh, or I mean sharing amongst many objects and you have to uh, avoid the if you want to avoid problem with copying of smart, smart pointers so let's say here is a uh, this T pointer or the uh, class pointer if you want to share it amongst many then it's better to use make use of reference counting and it's always uh, better to go with uh, still variants like auto PTR, unique PTR, uh, shared PTR and weak PTR which we will be talking about very soon so these are the very uh, five key things about smart pointers so thanks for watching and hope this helps